Hi everyone, this is Butterfly Milkshakes. Welcome to my channel where there are all things creative, all things encouragement, and all things enlightenment. Uh, thank you for watching this video today. As you can tell by the title, I've decided to kind of switch things up. Um, this is an update of things that have changed lately, um, some change in direction, some updates about life. So here it goes. First and foremost, I have been on vacation for the past two weeks um, in Florida with my family. I'll show some pictures here just so you can see what I've been doing for the 4th of July, um, as well as just kind of, you know, spending time with them. I don't get a lot of time to see them. I see them like every other year. So it was nice to travel down there and I did it by myself on a bus of all things so you know one more step for adulting and um, independence um, another thing that I've been up to is prepping for Halloween so this will kind of be like what I did last year um, I have some leftover prints that I'm hoping to sell in person um, via well I'm not too sure I live in DC so I may reach out to some galleries to do it, or I may um, go to a convention or some sort of, I guess, party, whatever, some sort of festival to maybe sell them at a booth or at a table. So I'll keep you guys updated about that. Uh, and I may be out of the country next year in South Korea teaching English, which would be a huge shift. I'm still trying to look for a job um, as a teacher. I have an interview next week. Um, but yeah, if that happens, when that happens, things will kind of shift a little bit more. So I'll keep you guys updated about that as well. Now, apart from life, there have been a couple of art things that have changed recently. Um, if you are on Instagram, um, there has been a movement of artists leaving and if you follow me on Instagram you've probably been there for when I kind of talked about it in my stories as well as the decrease of overall posts on my page um, on my account so my account is emptier now and that's because of Instagram's latest policy which is linked to Meta's policy they decided to have this um, I guess um, they decided to have this software um, that basically roams and takes in different photos, um, different visual pieces for their AI system to learn. And unfortunately, since AI is still being regulated, or um, there aren't a lot of laws for what AI can and can't do, like what's ethical and what's not. Unfortunately, a lot of artists have had their art stolen, um, not r really by Instagram, because I don't think Instagram has done anything to like pump anything out, so to say. Um, I'm guessing they're, the programming that they're using now is for a future use, but people unfortunately have taken uh, artists work and kind of mashed people's artwork together to create their own quote-unquote art um, The topic is still pretty controversial in the community itself where I guess there are people who Lean towards AI art should just be used for inspiration opposed to be used for like the final piece Which I think is fair um, Some other people are like just don't use it at all. I can understand that as well but that's what Instagram has been doing. And because of that, I've decided to kind of shift the way that I've been using social media for my art business and for my artwork overall. Um, I will still be on social media. I will still be on Instagram. I'll still be on Pinterest. Um, I'll still definitely be on YouTube. Um, but as it stands, I will be um, posting my artwork and talking about it a little bit more on my website. And I think that's a 
good idea for me because ultimately, you know, social media is not my quote-unquote territory. I've heard someone call it like a borrowed piece of land in a sense. Like even with YouTube, you can get monetized on YouTube, but you're kind of like an independent contractor, which is something else that I've heard heard someone say. And um, artists have been complaining about Instagram forever um, with how the algorithm works, how it doesn't seem fair. And in reality, Instagram was never made for artists. We just used it as a tool that seemed to work uh, to some degree. So social media is a tool. It's not the heart of who we are. And I think people have realized that the level of investment um, that they've put in has definitely not justified the returns that they've gotten. So I will be, um, yeah, gearing more towards my website. Um, the plan right now is to create a blog where I'll kind of have my own little social media section where I'll post pictures of my finalized pieces and talk about them. Um, while I'll keep maybe like undone sketches or little doodles or um, incomplete pieces or works in progress on social media. So I'll still, like I said, I'll still be there, but I want like the bulk of everything to be on my website. So if you can, please help me with the transition um, or at least be patient with me. If you like seeing my completed works of art, um, if you've been a fan of what I've said or like my quotes or whatever, um, please check out the blog that I'm going to start making. Um, as of this, as I'm recording this now, um, it has not been finalized. I'm still kind of working out the kinks, um, still trying to set up everything on Wix. I host my, my website's hosted on Wix, which I finally bought the name, got the plan to buy the name of my website domain, yay! <laughs> so I finally got that done too, some more adulting stuff. But as I speak now, the, the blog has not been finalized, and I have not picked a piece of artwork to even talk about, so that's kind of what's been going on. So, yeah, support me in that way, look at the blog, um, I'll try to make a way to where when I post something new, you'll get notified, so yeah, check it out. Also, I did want to touch on one of my budding projects, Data Boy, Sad Boy, I keep changing the names, but I think Data Boy would fit better as a title. Um... You may have seen it, like, posts that where I've talked about it and how I'm still in the paneling stage, the, the rough draft stage. Currently, I'm working and refining on the rough drafts that I've uh, drawn in my sketchbook. So that's where we're at right now. Um, I took a small pause in the summer because I, I'm usually at rest in the summer. It's kind of like, a, I kind of have seasons to my art process of where... I rest in the summer, may do a little bit of planning, a little bit of business, and then I really ramp up production or writing around the fall season or like the late summer season. So um, that's why this, there's been kind of a small pause. I also wanted to focus on some very important art things too, so um, my boy has been on pause for a while. Um, however. Um, I'm pretty proud of what I've done so far. Uh, I've always wanted to make a, an illustrated book or like a comic book. This feels, I think this is turning into a comic book, even though I didn't intend for it to be a comic book at first, because comic books take a very long time to finish. And so, um, yeah, this comic, I guess, has been... A very interesting journey. I always knew what I wanted to be done with this, but now that I'm here dishing it out, sketching it out, writing it out, it reminds me of when I published my first book, where what's in your head meets reality, where dream meets reality, and it's either gonna make or break you. That's usually how it feels to me. 
You either get frustrated and throw it away, or you keep pressing through with it until you start liking it again. I think that's uh, an interesting way of putting it. Please don't get discouraged if you think about doing this in the future. Um, This is a normal feeling, I promise you. Every creative feels this way, where you're excited to start or maybe scared. Some people feel scared. And then you're in it, and 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 it starts feeling like work, and you start asking yourself, why the heck am I doing this? And you're like, how long is this going to take? And you try to set goals, and sometimes the goals work, and sometimes they don't. So it's a long run game, unless you're making very tiny stickman comics which i've actually seen people make money off of that if it's relatable so you could do that i'm just saying that if you do this in the future um it will not be easy nothing worth it ever is on another note how to art has come to a pause um Mostly because I think this is a good stopping point for now. The last thing I talked about um, was coming to the realization of what I wanted um, as an artist while in college and what I consider to be pursuing my dreams and overcoming the frustrations of not having that while in college. So I just mostly talked about my background, even as like a kid and being middle school. So all the chapters that I've covered so far have been about my personal background and I think that's what the foundation of that was supposed to be. I think that was a good foundation laid to just kind of open up the rest of what how to art could be or like give it some free space to be what it could be. Because initially, I'm going to be honest, with how-to art, I think what I said was that I wanted to help people learn how to be creative in their own way. Um, Mostly how to overcome comparing themselves to others, thinking they're not talented with artistic things, when in reality that's not the case. However, I've also come to realize that Being a creative um, involves more than just, like, being an artist. Um, The term artist can apply to so many different things. So now there's this broad open space where I could pretty much touch on any subject I want. Um, And because of that, I would like to open the floor to people who subscribe to me or who, who comes and sees the channel every now and then. Or who's just, you know, just seeing this video now. Now that I've talked about my creative journey, um, what would you like to see How To Art uh, do? Which direction do you want to go in? And if you can't really think of anything at the moment, like, you know, comment down below or comment, let me know what you would like to see. But if you can't really think of anything, then I have no problem trying to <laughs> figure out what, a, what to talk about next. I just want to, you know, keep this open for people who watch because ultimately this is for you. The encouragement is for you. The hard topics are for you. So let me know what you would like me to talk about. I am one person in the midst of many, but what would you like me to, to say? So thank you all for watching this video. Thank you for hearing me talk and keep you updated about what's been going on. Um, hopefully you've been able to pick up on some key key things that are important. Um, and yeah, I'll keep making videos for everyone. Right now we have as much territory as we want to take. So please let me know what you want to hear. Um, and if not, then I'll find something interesting for us. 
Thank you for watching this video, and I hope to talk to you all again soon.